let's look at um, a Starfield um, trailer because I know nothing about Starfield because I've been living under a rock. I can't believe I'm going to pull out Google Chrome. What a disgusting RAM waste. But at least I can watch shit. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. The wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. What do you think it is about space games always talking about how vast and amazing and incredible they are, and every single fucking time they're released, it's underwhelming? What is it about the sci-fi space genre that makes games that are always a disappointment? No Man's Sky when it first released. Uh, some of the Halo games. Star Citizen. Um, there was another one. I know there was another one. I can't remember its name. It was kind of like Fallout y, um, but in space. And everyone's like, oh, wow, this is going to be an amazing game. And it just turned out to be a fucking shit show. Because it's impossible to make it feel fast, but also have enough content to not be boring as fuck. True. But then why do they keep marketing it as this big, vast, wide open space? Why do they keep on saying, look how big everything is? And then, and then it's just fucking dull as shit or underwhelming. Because they're stupid, probably. I mean, that... <laughs> I'm willing to bet like these game devs are trying to make like a really tight game and they're like being like, okay, this is what we've done. And then marketers are like, whoa, space, space. We've got to talk about how vast it is. Oh, we've got to tell everyone that there's a billion, gigabillion planets. And the devs are like, listen, um, we made five planets. Can you not fuck this up? Oh, uh, fuck. Never confuse um, a gaming dev with a, a marketer who works for a gaming company. Hmm, Bethesda. Sixteen times the detail. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. It, there's the other one. It just okay. works. Okay, okay. Do you think you can take a space pot and put it over a space planet's head before you steal its resources so it doesn't see you stealing them so you can sneak out and increase your thief skill and your sneak skill? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. I don't know why, but for a second, I thought I was looking at Star Citizen. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I love this part. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Hmm. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Of course, we lost the technology for squares. We, lo we lost the technology, guys, to make fucking 3D cubes. And now we've got to go find that technology again. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. 
who the fuck who the fuck has ever played any of the Bethesda single player games in third person who the fuck would ever do this what disgusting behavior. These are first person games only. Only. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. That oh my. F you know what that was? That was a reskinned pressure mine from Fallout. From Fallout, not even Fallout 4, Fallout 3. He threw it in the exact same way. It landed at his feet. It made a sound indicating that it was going to go off. And then it went off at the exact same timer. That was literally a pressure mine from Fallout 3. I, I know that because in Fallout 3, I made a character build, and I do this in a lot of Fallout games, where I, um, I like making wacky builds. And one of the wacky builds I like doing, I did this in Cyberpunk as well, is I make a character that doesn't use guns and doesn't use weapons and just throws explosives. And every single problem is solved with one explosive or another and nothing else. I, ma I make a literal boomer. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. Yeah. This is where we belong. <laughs> I mean, people love bugs, right? That's why Bethesda games have a huge modding community. Exactly. The the mods, I gotta say, the mods in Skyrim are fucking insane. And it's, it's kind of hilarious how some random dude in his basement with a few spare hours a day can make a better version of the game than the fucking game company who are supposed to be professionals. I gotta say, Ilgi, you were 100% right. That was a very underwhelming trailer. I don't feel like I learned much about the game. I feel like I watched like a really shitty art piece. Gives me classic Bethesda vibes. Uh, slightly behind in graphics, but dripping with vibe and atmosphere. I don't, I don't agree with that. I kind of felt like this was just Fallout 4 reskinned into space. Um, that they this wasn't 25 years in the making, or at least when they say 25 years in the making, what they meant is that 25 years ago, they started working on Fallout 3. Um, the 45-minute deep dive was well worth watching. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's more to this game, but this trailer was very underwhelming. Um, so excited for this. Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. People wanted Skyrim in space and got Fallout 4 in space. I, I mean, there's not much difference between the two if you look at the cores of the game. They, they're kind of the same thing.